Hey everyone, I am Nerma Darling and welcome to my channel. I know it's been like two years and so much change and that is okay. Um, and I'm back with a video for you all. I wanted to just hop on and say like, I had this entire video about like Gen Z's being lazy, unproductive and you know, I really wanted to tackle that. But then I re remembered my channel was never one of those channels. Um, it was definitely one of those channels where we focus more so on self and less on the outside. Um, and what I mean, when I say outside, like outside world, outside what's going on. So I had to check myself real quick. I um, had like an entire, like <laughs> all these notes. Can you see this? I don't even know. I had like all these notes. I woke up and wrote it. Scary, none of it um, really related to me. Um, so I had to go down and I wanted to jump into the moment of thought, which is something that I've always been, um, interested in. I've always been interested in just thinking, um, thinking outside of the box, tapping into yourself. And yesterday I had a session and as I had my session, I wrote journal prompts for the entire month of August and one of the things that i did today was that i woke up and i called out of work i just did not want to go into work i was just like i don't feel like it i was there yesterday i wanted to stay home and do what i love which is hair makeup and just spending time by myself so i decided to do that um and in that moment i did feel guilty i felt guilty for about an hour i was just like damn what if they need me what if they need me and that's when I have to come to terms with myself. They don't. <laughs> Respectfully speaking, they do not, right? Um, as we all know, like, these companies are able to run without us. And they know how to fill in those gaps. And rest and taking a day off is so important. So I had a few questions I just wanted to tackle. The question I wanted to just, you know, put in there was, why do we correlate productivity with work culture? Um, I find it so interesting that like, you know, in this era, we're really promoting self-love and self-care and like a soft life. But like when we're not productive, we kind of beat ourselves up or like the next day we tell ourselves, oh, well, tomorrow I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to power through this checklist and I'm not going to sleep till 10 p.m. Baby, love. Why? Why, why do we do that? And I think it's very important for us to reflect because me, myself as well, I have found myself in situations where it's like, why am I doing so much? And it's not to be lazy. I wouldn't call it being lazy, you know, because there is, there's an importance of balance. And when I say balance, I mean work and play. And now if you really want to break that into different categories, you can say work, fun, self, family, relationships. And in the little pie chart, I would 100% put work maybe on a 30% level because I understand we have bills, we got to, you know, basic needs, we have to pay for what we want, pay for our lavish lifestyle, take care of ourselves. The world runs on money. That's completely understandable. But when you put so much of yourself out there for money, how is that detrimental to yourself? And this is something that I had to kind of like think about as I called out you know I texted my um boss told him I can't come out I can't come into work today you know and then his reply was like okay yeah take care of yourself like do what you gotta do um and I think it was just like the the time of me waiting for him to reply to me gave me anxiety and I couldn't think with the thing oh he's gonna think I'm lazy he's gonna think I'm not for a company and a lot of the times that's not the case you know, and I guess I say this to say this, that like, as you step into the workplace, as the school semester starts, and as you are getting ready to tap into all these new ventures, remember to make time for rest, remember to make time to be still, and it's okay. You know, productivity is sometimes it's taking a nap. The other day, um, I had a conversation with like this group of girls that, you know, I have sessions with every Thursday. And we were talking about meditation and I was like, you know, it's so funny because naps are meditations, like 30 minute naps, 
yes, you fall asleep, you're not active. It's like you're not actively meditating. And I'm gonna take a nap. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm really tired, I will take a nap. Sometimes I don't set an alarm. And I think it's really interesting as well because some people kind of like correlate self-care and being still with laziness. And I can see that. No lie, I can see that. I can see how like self-care and self-preservation and like taking it slow can be combined with laziness. And this is another question that you need to ask yourself or like kind of reflect on is how do we know when we've had enough self-care? Okay, how do we know we're not using it as a crutch to be lazy? And now I also had to realize this for myself as well. <clears throat> in a few weeks, I'm starting an apprenticeship that is nine to five, Monday to Friday, right? On top of that, school. <laughs> Like, it's a lot. Like, the schedule gets packed and it's so full. So how do we, like, know, okay, maybe I need to take the day off, right? This is where you have to think about responsibilities, you know? You might say something like, from 6 to 7, I'm going to wake up and take a bath. I am going to massage my scalp. I'm going to drink all my teas. I'm going to go for a five-minute walk before I jump onto this. How do I set myself up for that day? Or maybe dedicate just one day out of the week. Every Sunday, I do rooftop yoga. And then I go to my little local Starbucks. I get my, my Starbucks. And I, I get myself flowers. And for the whole day, I'm just chilling. That is my self-care day. Please do not talk to me. Please do not get me mad. And if you see me on Sunday, just know, like, you're very special to me. You know? So <clears throat> how do we create that balance of work, self-care, family, fun, love? It brings me to a conversation that I wanted to have in my other video of when you go on YouTube, on Google and you search up Gen Z's are, here are some things that pops up. Um, entitled, soft, toxic, worthless, and the new boomers. And I think that is completely interesting. And before we even jump into that, we can kind of talk about like the age ranges and the years. So Gen Z's are anybody who were born 1997 until 2012. So that is ages 10 to 25. Um, and then millennials are anyone that are born 1981 to 1996, which is 2000, which is 26 to 41, right? Um, and I don't know why I feel like these ages are a little wrong. Correct me if they are, but I'm not even about to look into that, right? And then when we look into the definition of lazy, lazy can be known as unwilling to work or use energy. Unwilling to work or use energy. Now, I think this is interesting because as humans, we are very selective whether we want to acknowledge it or not. We are selective with our friends, with our families, with our partners, with our jobs, with our careers, with our schools, the way we dress, the way we look, and the way we want to present ourselves, right? And I'm going to go back and read the definition of lazy. <clears throat> is unwilling to work or use energy. So I couldn't help but to relate this to my own personal experiences and with, you know, Gen Z's being labeled as lazy, entitled, you know, Okay, cool, right? Cool. I'm lazy, I'm entitled, okay. I'ma I'm a still get to it though, regardless, right? <laughs> but um, unwilling to work or use energy. Like I said before, we are selective beings. If you are in a job that you hate, chances are you're not gonna wanna do the work. You're not gonna wanna put in the energy. It's the same thing with people. Right? If you're hanging out with someone that you don't really like, you're probably not going to give your all. You're probably not going to really hold down a conversation, you're not going to be yourself fully, you know? And that's just the way it works. Like, you cannot fake energy. Unwilling to give energy. So I guess the question is, are Gen Z's really lazy, entitled, toxic? I forgot the other word. What was the other word? Um, soft, worthless, the new boomers? Or do we just have an understanding 
of who we are and more of a deeper emotional empathy of an emotional understanding for ourselves right and then i think some of the things i've also heard is that gen z's have like a very individual mindset individualism so like something i've heard is okay like who gonna be the new pastors <laughs> right who gonna be hosting the barbecues like all of that right and i don't think that that far into it i know i ain't gonna be the one the one barbecue i might throw the party I would definitely plan the family reunion, but I will not be on the grill, unfortunately. Um, as for the pastors, I'm going to let you all discuss that in the comments. That's all y'all. You know, but I do know a junior pastor. He's amazing. Community dude. He is a Gen Z. So that's just that for that. And you know what? I'm going to go on Twitter and read some tweets with the hashtag. Um, with the hashtag Gen Z and see how that goes and by the way please follow me on twitter it's nerma 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 underscore darling um and my instagram is also nerma dot darling um i post on my instagram i post on my twitter and if you want to check out my business page it's going to be en love candles at gmail.com not at gmail.com en love candles on instagram and enlovecandles.com to purchase some candles. They are crystal infused candles and body candles. So let's go ahead and see what is it that the masses have to say about Gen Z's. Okay, there's this tweet that says Gen Z's after their first day of work and it is um, creator Kai Ari, K-H-I-I-A-R-I-I -I 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 on TikTok, screaming that he hates his job. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna show all of it, but like, I think this video is funny because it kind of correlates with what I have wrote this morning while I was in bed. And it's just that like, I guess you can say we don't want to work jobs that we don't like because there's so many ways to make money. Instagram, TikTok, Reels, what well, that is Instagram, YouTube, OnlyFans, and it's just like, you can make money being yourself so people do not want to work but yeah so are gen z's really lazy as the internet says as older the older generation say i believe that gen z's are not lazy i believe that we just have an understanding of ourselves we are selective and we understand that we should put energy where it needs to be at um and this goes for jobs relationships friendships schools anything in life honestly it's funny because a few years ago everyone wanted to be a boss babe and i know you guys remember this like i was a part of that as well sadly everybody wanted to be a boss babe i'm making my own money money this money that i wake up at 6 a.m every day and on fridays i wake up at 4 p.m to beat everybody else i don't go out i don't spend no money that was the vibe that everybody was on like three four years ago it was trending like it was a thing to be on your a game wake up hustle make money money online i'm chasing money now everybody is leaning more so towards like the soft life self-care self-love and i feel like we kind of transitioned over to like the whole soft life and self-care and taking it more gentle from the hustle culture um during 2020 when like people realized that like why do we put value and waking up every day to be somewhere we don't want to be or why do we put value in like working ourselves down to the ground to the point where your feet is hurting your back is hurting your head is hurting you can barely think you get home and you have no time for yourself and your creativity is outside the window why do we give trophies and ribbons to the hardest worker when in reality we really should just be having a great time work balance is extremely important and like i think for years i've always had this understanding even when i was in my boss babe um vibe i always knew that that would never it would never get to the point where it's like yeah i'm waking up at 7 a.m and i'm clocking out at 9 p.m 
no <laughs> that was never me you know and even like with my own personal brand i love candles is more so curated around like candles that just remind you hey take it easy like girl sit your ass down like respectfully take a nap take a bubble bath burn this candle remember center yourself bring that energy back to you in 2020 a lot of people started businesses like 4.4 million it might be billion let me check it was billion 4.4 billion businesses started in 2020 and you can only assume why it's because people realize that like with getting employment unemployment um with staying at home we're starting to work remotely people were like why have i been burning myself down to this to the ground for all these for all these years right for all these years just for money and people was like i want to do my own thing i want to tap into my own source of creativity i want to tap into me and see what i can create so then we have people making candles clothes hairstylists makeup artists streamers People got viral on TikTok, you know, people got famous on the internet because of this. Myself being one. During COVID, being at home, I started working remote. I had more time on my hands. I was like, I'm going to start a business. I want to start a business that aligns with me. And that has been the happiest I've ever been. And ever since then, I just can't get it out of my mind that like working jobs that you don't like is just insane. <laughs> but now I'm just rambling, right? I cannot speak for everyone, but I can say that we believe in a few things, right? Well, I do. I believe in integrity and being somewhere that I feel appreciated, welcome, affirmed, and happy. And I noticed that this has been a, there has been a trend where it's like, be where you are happy at. And if that labels me lazy, I'll take it. I'm lazy. <laughs> I'll take it, but I know that's not true, right? Your productivity does not connect with your worth. It doesn't. So if you want to stay home and take a nap, baby girl, stay home and take a nap. If you want to go outside and go to your, if you want to go to your career that you love so much that you can sit in the office and work until 10 p.m., and you go home smiling and energetic and ready to do it again, do that. Do what makes you happy because at the end of the day, I'm not even gonna say life is short because it's not. Life is beautiful and it's made for people to enjoy. Do what you want. Remember, lazy is just defined as not wanting to put your energy into something. I wouldn't even call it lazy, I'd call it selective. And that's okay. It's okay to be selective. It's okay to put your energy towards what you want to. It's okay to do what makes you, what makes you happy. And it's okay to live life. I don't think we're lazy. We're just selective.